Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Final Fantasy Tactics A2. Oh gosh, I did that tower thing and I thought I would get something cool out of it. Answer to that is no. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just going to show you the end of it right here and I'm just going to be honest, I was more than disappointed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, I think I've got this. Oh, let's hope. Yep. Unless the 1% I miss. Oh, gosh. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I finally did that. That took entirely too long. I think I've been at this for... Trying to do this one specific thing, I think, for the past four hours. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Steefy, you deserve that level up. Oh, my goodness. You killed three of them by yourself. Oh, boy. Peter got the other kill. And you get Bright Mean Tear as a success. You get the new abilities mastered and everything. And guess what? That's it. <laughs> Oh, man. The fact that that is all you get is actually quite insulting. Oh, boy. I mean, come on. As if it wasn't bad enough. Alright, well, anyway. Oh, boy. I'll be right back. Yeah. Got only ability points, but I gotta hand it to Steefy. She was the MVP of the MVPs up there. Oh boy. <laughs> she certainly got it. I, she just did a phenomenal job, and she deserved all of it. I, the fact that she not only destroyed both of those mob lore kings with casting doom on them, and then got that last hit on the werewolf that really meant a lot. This time, we're gonna go to the Bizga Greenlands and deal with the first of our jobs, Order of the Hour. So, we'll see how good this will go. <laughs> I don't know. It could go horribly. The fact that it's Mob Lords just puts me in a bad mood. <laughs> I've spent four hours looking at this face. Not pleased with it. Oh gosh. Anyway, uphold the law and defeat all foes. Oh my gosh. We can't use fire. All right. Well, uh, I, I'm gonna bring Luso. I'm gonna bring Movri. I'm gonna bring Steefy. Since I mean, gosh, she was the the bee's knees when it came to that fight. I'm gonna bring Dolroth. Uh, do I bring Peter? I kind of want to bring Peter. Yeah, let's bring Peter. Um, I, I'm just curious. What are these levels? 37, 38, 38, and 37. Okay, so I mean, it's <laughs> nothing like we. <laughs> nothing like the monsters up there. Okay, so I. I I'm slightly better off with that um, being the thing that happened, but you know. I'm going to double check and make sure any other weapons don't have the fire element, because I'll be honest, sometimes that can actually surprise you what elements are on what weapons. So, I believe, yeah, yours is holy. Um, Dolroth, you have just a normal gun. That is the holy. Uh, that is just a book, and that is also just a book, so we're good there. As far as abilities go, I don't see anything that would cause any problems there. Um, I kind of want to go for time magic on this, because that seems a little bit better. I, um, yeah, I want to go with time magic. Uh... No, I'm not taking marksman off that. <laughs> that saved my bacon. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. You guys just don't know. <laughs> it's good, because... Oh, gosh. I'm gonna go with extra movement. I, I actually do want that. 
These are the ingredients? I think I've lost my appetite. Looks like they're on the attack. Remember, no fire. Yep, you can't use fire because they're gonna be a part of a recipe. I don't know whose bright idea that was to come up with that be uh, these guys being the recipe. I really don't know. Um, it's almost as disturbing as people in the Pokemon world eating Slowpoke Dales. I, yeah, this is just really weird. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna do a recharge, because it pretty much when it comes to a seer, if you aren't able to attack anything, doing a recharge is probably one of the best things to do, just simply because of how, um, how much you gain off of it. You don't gain, like, oh, you gain, like, so much MP you'll never have to do it again, but it puts you off in a good position to where you probably don't have to. Hey, there might be a time it's like, oh man, I ran out of MP, but that's gonna be really, really not the case for the most part. Alright, uh, lore, ice damage, and thunder damage. And ice damage. Well, I think pretty much it's all gonna be wind, really. Yeah. I don't have wind with him, so... I am, however, going to cast a haste... no, on Lillian. <laughs> because she has Sidewinder, and that's gonna make this fight a lot easier. Skirt? Is that seriously this thing's name? Skirt. I... I'm speechless. <laughs> I am actually speechless about how ridiculous that is. Ooh, gosh. Oh boy. But my hope for this episode is to actually get two new jobs, and I believe they're the last jobs of the game we haven't got. Because... Yeah, I think they're the last jobs we have yet to get, so that's going to be cool. On the other hand, I'm not too fond of the Bad Breath getting a 60... Oh, gosh, and that's one of the worst elements she could get blind. Oh, that's not good. Uh, well, at least Luso doesn't have silence, so that'll be good. I can remedy this the whole thing with her getting blind. Alright, she did pretty good there, and I can get another hit in and just finish off this mob war, which would be good. At least that's what I was hoping, but, you know, <laughs> that didn't happen. Alright, uh, I want you to come over this way. Now, for those who... I... I... I yeah, I hadn't got to it at this point. Um, the way double shot works off of assassin, it just anything that's um, not your normal uh, class, uh, normal um, uh, sniper. Uh, they just use their current weapon, like the snipers use theirs, and they just attack twice, kind of like dual wielding, essentially. And since she's using the Zamato to learn the Ultima attack. I, she's completely balling and doing a ton of damage with it. So. Alright, we're cleansing you of all impurities. So, we're good there. Um, I want to have Luso kind of hang out over here. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think my Flusier has to really worry about ever not being able to move anywhere because of how ridiculous his movement is. Ah, come on. I'm gonna have pain a lot of I love the distance that he can move like that. Unfortunately, his um, attack 
range is still yet to be desired. Alright. Let's just kind of waltz over here and smack him in the back of the head with a book. Boom! <laughs> like, I just beat somebody with a book! I mean, I could go with those, those ridiculous spy movies they beat up people with books. But, you know... That or you go with Jason Bourne. He just beats people up with a... Well, he's beaten somebody up with a book. No, well, he's done with a book and a magazine, so... <laughs> it's a little bit of everything. Now, oh, putrid breath. Oh, fantastic. Just what I always didn't want. Oh. Really? I didn't know that. That's unfortunate. Um, however, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna roll with it. Ultima shot just to take you out. <laughs> no need for a sidewinder in Kanash. I can just take you out in one hand. And it's not considered a fire attack, so I'm completely good. Alright. And she can almost pull it off. <laughs> She's not quite that. Alright, double shot. Get some damage going. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. It, the thing is, these it's, some of these missions are just quick fights. They really are. Depending on your levels. I, certainly my characters have a much um, easier time because they don't have to worry about the levels being too low because most of my it, most of the characters I use in a lot of the different quests my levels are going to be higher now there's going to be different things that could be a problem but we'll get to it. maybe this won't taste so who am I kidding this is going to taste terrible I, I'm right there with you Luso <laughs> this is going to taste hot but apparently that's supposed to be an order Ah, uh, who knows. Or derv of the hour, indeed. <laughs> oh, there's certainly some about it, that's for sure. Alright, Ziso, you've mastered Kiraga. Fantastic. I'm gonna have you master Asuna. Um... You have mastered Geomancy. Alright, alright. Uh, let's do counter magic. Um, that's the thing. I can actually do counter magic or magic counter, but restoring MP is pretty good. Double hand is really nice. Um, hmm, let's go with the golden X so you can learn Thundaga. Ah, you're mastering it. You're mastering it, yes. Soul crush. Well, Pina, I know you're quite the soul crusher, but you, you need you kinda need to lay off the soul crush in here for a minute. Alright, I need to double check. Einsfield, Targwood, Florgus, and the Gorilla Deep. Alright. Uh, I can go to this one real quick, so we'll go to the Gorilla Deep. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Don't worry about it. Alright. No. Hey, you got nothing. I'm sorry. I, I'm at the point where I'm not wanting to have anybody join. The only types of characters I will just automatically let join is if they're a red mage and if they have a certain skill. Alright, Ravenger. Speed battle versus T Tigarina. Targeting distant units. Oh, fantastic. What I always wanted. Well, that's what he's all about, so I'm not gonna bring you. I am gonna bring Lillian. I'm going to bring Pina. And I'm also going to bring my assassin Steffi and 
also bring a bell. And for this, I'm gonna go with extra strength. So you've come at last, Clan Fairy Tale. Ready to take me on? Just hold on a second. What exactly is going on in here again? Uh, that's right. Pretend you don't know with all your quests. Steam and being famous. And all without me, I might add, it's quite an insult. That's what this is about. Do I have to spell it out for you? You, me, speed battle. We'll see who's got what it takes here. Once and for all. Well, Clan Fairy Tale, aren't you gonna thank me? After all, this is an everyday you get to witness moves as elegant as the ones I'll show you. Why, you'll be kneeling before me, begging just for one more taste of love when this is over. Well, you really talk a lot. Since you're here, let's have a go at it. Well, since we're here, let's have a go at it. Man, Lillian, and she she does she don't take <laughs> no crap. She's like, you know what? You can talk all day long, but uh, let's see what you got. All right, let's kind of just slowly move around and oh come on, all right, fine. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right, I, and I don't think I'll have a problem with this. Uh, mainly because I have two ridiculous attackers, um, and two other, uh, well, one of them. Lillian and Pina can use Sidewinder. I have my lovely Steefy that can use Ultima Masher when necessary, or Double Shot. And I also have uh, Adele who is dual wielding, so we're, we're, we're going good, I think. Possibly. Awesome. Could be bad. Flow Sand Lord. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that's just rude. How in the world are you able to do more damage to me? Um, actually, I think it's gonna be better off if I go there. No, actually it's not. Fantastic! I'm sitting here trying to think of a best placement for my character, and I can't seem to do it. Alright, Sidewinder, and we're gonna do as big as damage as we can. With that, unfortunately, that means we're getting countered. Not too bad, though, not too bad. Um. The cool thing about Steve is she's just gonna completely mutilate this monstrosity of an ant lion I, just with a double slash. She just completely cuts it up, and it, it's nothing like terraforming the terraformers. But you know, at this point, no one really cares. <laughs> hey, have a double slash to your back. Well, not really a back. That's not the back. That's more the side. Oh my gosh, I'm just extremely confident right now. I don't know why. Uh, I guess it's because I'm so glad to be done with that giant tower thing that just didn't do me any good. <laughs> gosh. So bad. Anyway. Alright, now we can focus our energy onto a wish guy. And she doesn't do that bad of a damage, but the sad thing is, is you can't tell how much health this thing has. That's why you really just kind of need to get an idea. Oh, ouch. Well, that's going dead. And got healed, so it's like she didn't do any damage to him. Alright, I'm going to do a fly down. I'm not going to attack because I want to make sure I can get as much uh, speed for my neck so I can get the, my next turn a lot faster. Lillian, my dear, you have the ultima match. Yep. 
of the ultimate attack. Um, I'm curious as to whether or not you're gonna get a speed down. You don't. I was wondering if I could slow it down so he didn't actually do it as much. But, yeah, unfortunate. Uh, he does gain a little bit of health back, but it's not by much. And gravity Flux... It's not going to be the most damaging move, so I'm not too worried about it. And you just got countered, so... We'll just kind of roll with it. Unfortunately, though, it looks like she's got another turn coming up. And I'm not sure how much health this thing has. Um, if I do Ultimate Masher... Oh, okay. It does show. Alright, I'm not going to do the biggest amount of damage possible, but I am going to do some damage. Because that would be dumb if I didn't. I have a feeling though this monster is going to try to um, draw in one of us, and that's not going to be pretty. Sneak attack, that could be good. Um, I'm more worried of whether or not this is going to be as well as it can to be. I'm willing to bet yes, because I mean I got I got enough for one of the ultimas. I uh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> That's crazy when absorb damage does 37 people may heal. Oh wow. Draws in the other person. Doesn't even touch me with that move. Puts her in a bad spot to heal herself. Uh, heal itself, and then I just come in with the KO on my cycle. How about that? Adamantia. Well, we won. Though I admit, you have some moves there. <laughs> I lost. What good will moves do me? No one likes a loser. Don't be so hard on yourself. You have something in you I haven't seen in, well, anyone. Really? Really and truly? See, even when I lose, I look great! So, now you've seen what a real Ravager can do. Remember it well, it might just come in handy someday. Got the Ravager job. And if you're wondering, no, she does not become a part of the clan. It's it's weird because she was like, oh, you you just did all this without me, why? And it's like, it makes it sound like she's going to join, but she never does. It's weird. Alright. Oh my goodness. Does that many people want to join the clan? The answer is gonna be no. And they stay in the way, they're just in the way, so you can't get to your next thing. Alright. The last step. Oh, it's you. We've been here doing this before. I brought what you were asking for. I know this book was important to you, Mac. I never thought I'd be bringing it back to you, though. Fate works in mysterious ways, truth be told. I feared none would accept my proposal. Though its contents were a part of me, I felt the book was more than words. It was my origin, perhaps. I wanted to have it by my hand. And as I began here in this village, sal village as this village is salve maker. Well, it sounds like you're back doing what you do best. 
Mac the Researcher has a certain ring to it, but I think this suits you much better. The Actor Tone was traded, and the Earrings of the Dead was received. Thank you. Your words give me much joy. I think it faces... Uh, I need to see the face of the one I treated in order to help them. But perhaps... But my patients are waiting. I must return. Farewell. Now you may wonder, what was the point of that? And what in the world are the earrings of the dead? It's actually an accessory. These accessories, um, I believe... I, I don't know if they're race-specific. Um, no. But as you can see, it's there to summon a Zelra, which is our first Psycon. We have not been able to get a Psycon before, and now we can. And, oh boy, these things are powerful. We finally get to see what the limelight's for. It's actually to summon these guys. Now, you don't have to put it... I, the thing is, is you want to put it on somebody you are going to bring to battle. Otherwise, what's the point of actually giving it to them? So, uh, yeah, like almost everyone has something. Um, you know what? I'm just going to put it on uh, my dull Roth friend here. Because, I mean, honestly... Wait. How long has he had that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I wonder. Oh, man. Uh, Flint Lot. Oh, yeah. I'm not Flint Lot. Uh. Let's see. Actually, yeah, let's just go with Moogle on it, the, the Onslaught. Because that seems a bit better. And. Yeah, that seems like it. But yeah, it, I, I'm bringing Dolroth quite a bit, um, so there is that. I didn't mean to actually go there. I need to double check these again. Uh, Einsfield and Florgus. Okay. So I'm gonna we're gonna end up in Florgus, but we're going to go to Einsfield first. Or is it going to be the other way around? I think it's going to be the other way around. Oh. Don't know what that was. Yeah. So we're going to have to fly the Florgus first. Hopefully, we will have enough time. Let's run to the Aerodome real quick and make our flight. We're going to purchase a ticket, head out, and hopefully get some stuff done. If anything, I want to get the Liness to... If it looks like I possibly can't get it done. Oh, and as you can see, we got the uh, islands up there on our map now. You can actually see them. They're not grayed out. Uh, but if it comes to whether or not... Well, this is in Florida, so... Oh, the Lucky Stick Seller. Um, yeah, we're going to totally get ourselves a Lucky Stick. Because why not? Uh, 1,000 gil, why not? I, I've got plenty of money. I've got 41,000, you can have 1,000. Alright. So we're supposed to be back in Gold Sun, so we'll do that. Now we are going to go after uh, the Lanesta job. And... Or... Lanistas? I, I don't even know how the job's pronounced. I don't know. Defend the v devotee and defeat all foes. And you can't use lightning, but you can. It's just not gonna. It's not gonna really matter. But as you can see, the devotee he's actually a little bit better. He's not completely crummy. <laughs> His level's actually decent. Um, however, uh, we, we are gonna help him out. Uh, we're gonna protect him. We're gonna bring Dolroth. I don't know if we'll be able to see uh, the. A uh, Psycon being summoned, but we will see. We'll also bring Ostin for the sake of having a seek here. And as far as all this goes, I think we're gonna go with Power Five. I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? Actually, forget that. I'm gonna go with Bonus CP3. Ah, uh, 
You're from the Bunga Bunga, aren't you? I, I recall every one of those infernal leaflets you handed out, and Morbella this... I recall every one of those infernal leaflets you handed out in Morbella this instant. Everything in them is a bare-faced lie, fantasy, and poppycock from the start to finish. You idiot. The pen is mightier than the sword, but its fist is mightier than the pen. If you've got a complaint with our editorial direction, show us what you got, then we'll talk. But know this, I, the Bunga Bungle head editor, and the Bungle owner, stand bes standing beside me, are mightier than you might imagine. Um, of course, uh, the owners, the more mightier the two of us, uh, more than me, I mean. The fist is mightier than, than the pen? That's a new one. I wonder what this prima donna devotee's going on about. I... I am a swordsman, a lanista by trade. My father and my grandfather before him were lanistas too. And they won in the ring many times. They were great, great men. But now the Bunga Bungle spits on their memory. How can you say that a, the Lenista is the weakest of all jobs? I will show you the true power of a Lenista. In defeat, you will see who is the weakest and who is the strongest. I, Clan Fairytale, I beg you to stand witness. What drivel are you spouting? The strongest is clearly the Berserker. The Ranger is the sec a close second. And I'm... Sh Sure, I'm forgetting one or two. Anyway, Lenista's obviously the weakest and will show you. However, the f as fortune would have it, I'm not in best health today, and I cannot summon my full strength. Uh-huh. Though it pay me, I'll fight at a tenth of my full might. Huh? What's this? Uh, the owner, too isn't feeling well, and will be finding it at a tenth of his normal strength also. Uh, however, uh, uh, he predicted this, and thought to hire a bodyguard in advance. Such presence. Uh, uh, oh, bodyguard! Bodyguard! Yeah, this is why we're hired. <laughs> so don't let your understandable concern of for our health hold you back. I know he only wanted us to watch, but if they're enter they're bringing in reinforcements, we should help out. Oh yeah. We're gonna help out. And for those who always wanted to beat up the head editor of Bonga Bungle for all the stuff he's put you through, you're in luck! You get to beat him up! <laughs> you get to beat him up, and it's such it's just such a such a joy that you actually get to hurt him. Because after all the guys put you through, you finally, finally get the chance you've always been waiting for to actually do something. Why are you constantly throwing things? That's actually quite rude, sir. Um... Okay. I'm not okay with that, though. The pair of ear... Zengen. Really? Oh, that's kind of funny. Um... I believe that's a character in anime, actually. Or something to that extent. Something close to that name. Alright, well... I mean, yeah, you're just asking for it, you know? I'm just gonna hit you right in the head. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna go with a double shot right now. Unfortunately, I moved. I, I, I moved. I missed this, the other. Attack. Nah. All right. Uh, no, no offense, Lanista dude, but I, I want first dibs on hitting this guy. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Finally get to do something to that guy. Oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna do a recharge. I'm 
unfortunately, I wasn't able to really cast anything. But, no, we'll, we'll roll. Um, once, and as you can see, Psychon's Wrath. Use a full smash gauge to summon a powerful Psychon. We'll get to that. We just don't have the ability to right now. Um, hmm. Uh, how about we do a stop shot? How about you don't move? Really? I wasn't able to get it. How unfortunate. And that just makes it all the more fun trying to find him. Oh my goodness, you only did two damage. Guess what? You're down! You're down! Yes. <laughs> the fact that I got to beat that guy up. So nice. Hunting vision. Ooh. I actually like the Lanista job. I, I think it's one of, my, one of more of my favorites out of all of them. And as you see... I, as you can see, the owner of the Bonga Bungle is about as derpy as you would think he is. It's weird. The guy's throwing stuff constantly, so that's not doing anything, it, doing anybody any favors. And he's not doing much, but as you can see, Saki, the assassin's gonna try to do something fancy. Shadow bind. Oh. I, you know, everyone... What? Oh. That's just rude. So much for actually showing you guys what <laughs> the Psycon can do. Oh, boy. That might have to be another another day. And you get quickens because... Yeah. And you're trying to do a gyu. I, I don't see why you're trying to a gyu me. It's whatever. It's whatever, man. Alright. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna toss a card. Boom. Got rid of you, which is good. Um, I will say. I mean, even if they were fighting at full strength, because they said, oh, I'm only fighting at one tenth, and then the one needs to win. Oh! Oh, yeah, I wasn't used, supposed to use lightning. <laughs> oh, well. Ugh. It's been a while since I did that. That's my bad. Tempest. Oh, really? Huh. Has illusionary stuff. Oh gosh, you got Sky Fury Blade. That's not good. At least you're not berserked. That's good. Because that just would have made a thing to to deal with. Block! And it just increases all of our defense. Which is cute. Unfortunately, unless I get something specific to heal stop, I don't know if I can do enough. Alright. Got rid of the pair of ear. Not too shabby. The unfortunate thing is the ninja in my phone. <laughs> the ninja in my phone. Uh, oh, wow. Got a crit. Okay. How is Discord off my phone? <laughs> How well I am. It's weird, Discord, I, well, I, I think I did turn it off uh, on my computer, because it would just be spammed all day long. 
I want to see if I can actually hit you with mantra magic. No. That's fine. I had my luck with hitting people with that in the tower. Alright. Let's do Thundra. Or Thundra. And easily done, just quite simply fantastic. What in the world was that? <laughs> How could you miss? Tempest? Oh gosh, no, oh, come on. I lost. That's sad. That ninja is ridiculous. Hmm. The defending missions tend to be a little bit better. Sometimes. Alright. Here I thought I was going to have no problems. Well, that appears to not be the case. Well, I didn't get all the jobs in this episode, but you know... And I almost had that, too. So sad. Hunted. So you're the ones who accepted my quest. The fiend should show its face at any moment. Be on your guard. There! Do you see its rotting flesh? I have slain it countless times, but it always rises again! I beg of you, deal with it. Deal with such a blow that it will never rise to haunt me again. Luke. Woody, why do you wait? Attack! It... It is you. How long has it been? You know this creature? Who are you? That consort with the undead? She is Fremilda Lotis. She was a great blade master once. But then, you should know, you fought at her side, Sir Luke Sardak. Th this creature is Fremilda? But how? Then the drug... It didn't kill you. Drug... Kill me? We were... Inseparable. Together we traveled. Did battle. You told me... That you loved me. In the beginning I did. But before I knew it, they all came to call you Blade Master. And me? What was I? After you'd fall asleep, I would practice late it into the night, but I could never match your skill. I couldn't bear it. So, when I came upon the drug, I... My sword. I want it back. The Fallen Angel. Do you really recall? Uh, do you recall when you first held this blade? We were happy then this blade. This is the blade, all that remains of what you were. You're dead. Uh, protect from Ilda and defeat all foes. Ranged weapons. You can't use any bows and stuff like that. We're gonna go with power just so we can deal with it quickly. And come out. Yep. You don't get to select who you do. Once accepted, it is unbecoming to change the conditions of a quest, but you leave me little choice. I will send you this... send you and this creature to both your graves. Who do you think you are? Sorry, but an agreement is an agreement. You wanted to be sure you were never looked on this creature again, didn't you? If we slay you, then you'll have... And we will have filled con the conditions of the quest, yes. 
Dang. <laughs> Adele with sass. But as you can see, he has blink counter. Which means you can't just up and attack him. Unfortunate. Um... Um, let's do a wood veil. Well, I don't mind you healing me with that. <laughs> that was fun. Um, I'm gonna go for a recharge. The thing about this fight is it's a tad bit difficult, or it can be. Because you can't actually heal from Milda, because if you try, by, well, by normal means you can't heal from Milda. Um, and unless you actually have Adele or Muso have the um, ability to... surprised he hit. Unless you give uh, Luso or uh, Adele the ability to actually use White Wind, you can't heal from Milda. Um, raises attack, magic, resistance, and defense. Counter and knockback, defensive action. So why was it so good? Like, why was her hit 0%? That I don't get. Alright, well anyway. That being said, we're gonna just cause thunderstorm. Alright, Luke Slardak. You're a pitiful excuse of somebody. Cause that as a problem. It's just disturbing. Uh, he doesn't deserve the sword by any stretch. Unfortunately, <laughs> one of my teammates is one of the least powerful people. one of the weapons she has. Alright. I was wondering what was going on with that. Alright, well anyway. Uh, we're gonna do sands... Well, no. I'm gonna back off and cap... No, not late. We're gonna cast Sandstorm. No, not more traumatic. Although that would be funny. Um, he doesn't have much health left anyway. Alright. Take that, fool. Ow. Yeah, that's why you want to be careful and protect her. She gets the KO. Anyway. Adele and Sid get a level up, which they desperately need, but hey. Alright. Even in death, I am no match for you. For what it's worth, each day without you, I have grown more empty. What have I done? Go on. Do it. Leave me. Well, he goes on to live. 
Thank you. I want you to have my sword. Farewell. Fallen Angel. You obtained the High Seraphim's Plume. That is also a Psycon weapon, or Psycon accessory. So, we may not have gotten two jobs this time, but we certainly did get two Psycon items. That's kind of crazy. Dragon Alright. Gain Rerise. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'll take that. Um. Eh, I, okay, but. Alright, well, anyway. Let's look. When it comes to. Oh, I guess like 20 attack. Of course, I want to keep it. Um. Four defense. Yeah, it's fine. I don't mind. Summons Ultima. I mean, we're definitely taking Damas in a lot, to a lot of places, so I don't see why we wouldn't do that. Anyway, as always, at the end of an episode, we're gonna check the shop and do the thing. Good day. Good day, madam. Alright. Light blades? Alright. Oh, we are going for another knife. Tombarian. The rangers get a love potion. How about that? So. High Arcana, Adamantiite, and Tanabase. We get that, so. Let's keep that, so we can kind of keep making up things. They possibly require it, and I'm not entirely sure. No. No. Okay, fine. Wait. How? Oh, there. I was like, how's this a thing? Ah, the spike boot. Um, I don't need that. Um, fire sigil. Uh, Padanga wood and fiend's blood. We get the garnet staff. So, oh, pomegranate staff, my bad. So we get barrier and carbuckle. Oh, well, well, we had another one. Earth Sigil. Where's Vanish? Uh, fine. Well, we get the Gaia outfit. Or the Gaia gear. So we can, can now get Regenerate. <laughs> About time. Um, let's go and go ahead and get the uh, Pomegranate Staff. Uh, we're also going to go ahead stuff as well. Uh, but mostly I'm going to be getting ourselves a couple of the light armor of the Gaia gear, just because that's a really nice piece of equipment, and it's extremely nice. Also, really? Only one Tomb Barrier? Fine. Uh, but yeah. That was the weapon that we just got. We don't have to buy it, which is amazing. Um, we could purchase another Nirvana. I, I could see a reason why to, but um, I won't just because of the idea that I do want to have that they're showing, hey, this is something we have made. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this, uh, just so I know it's like, okay, it's there. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> Alright. And we're gonna close it off with a notice that is here. We got two things, the muted dragons, Whispers near the eaves. Three dragons have reared their fearsome heads in the vicinity of the Adonala Range. 
lost in their attacking town and traveler alike. Such lack of subtlety is sure to earn them marked status shortly. Mention the, of the three dragons in Adonis might recall stories of the protector dragons of old, yet the only similarity is their number. These are base, feral creatures with the naught but menace on their minds. Perhaps the thick mist of the region is what drove these typical reclusive wires to violence. I, I don't know why, I just thought I'd do it in a country place, but I didn't. My grandma told me about another tower that only appears in moonlit nights. Uh, one, but one that's in Hinesfield. Actually, it's the same tower as the one in Graston, but it, it's a different entrance. So it just happens to be in a different place. Oh, why is it going? Why am I doing a southern? I don't know. Apparently, this is just the time for southern voices. Uh, Does that make sense? Well, uh, I guess that famous night went up there that way too. Luma, town gossip. Oh, uh, town gossip? Yeah, she's totally southern. <laughs> Sorry. What that's. Oh my gosh, and look at so many more to go through, and oh my goodness, look at all these. We've got so much stuff to do. Unfortunately, we do have to wait 17 days to do Lanessa's Pride account, but we might not have to worry about it. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like doing that, but I, I totally did. Alright, anyway. I don't know why I'm still recording. Um, I'm just kind of looking through, really, to see what is what and what would be the best way to go about it. But I think, honestly, um, when it comes down to it, uh, ah, bad place. <laughs> It's, we hadn't had a quiz there, so the, the name of it's just completely escaping. But anyway, in the next one, we'll kind of continue on. We'll probably do a lot of the quests that are in this region. Just simply for the fact that we're here, and hopefully we can get Lanesta's Pride pretty quickly, and we can pick that up as well. The fact that the recent ones, it, and that's the thing about going, oh, no, no, <laughs> going into the pub, is when you see the ones in the recent, uh, they tend to be the ones that are going to be unavailable for a little bit, so you kind of want to pick them up as quickly as you can, so you can just go ahead and take care of them. Now, I'm, and this is just me being me, I don't know if I'll ever do all of them, if I'll get to all of them. I might, um, probably not that one, but I'll, it looks like a, a lot, most of them are gonna be in this area, so looks like I can actually try to take care of most of them in the next one, so I we'll see about that, so <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one later.